Hi everyone, happy day wherever you are. I want to just make this quick video to share lots of love and positive energy and highlighting the importance of using your intuition. It's a sixth sense, it's a feeling, it's often defined as when you know without knowing how you know. So it's sort of like a magical power that every single person has from the moment you're born. However, like a muscle, it needs to be practiced and it needs to be applied on a consistent basis and with awareness. So use your intuition. It's your feeling like when you just know something without knowing why or how. And use it to empower your choices, such as when you're making simple decisions like what to eat to bigger, more impactful decisions like whether you start a relationship with someone or you change jobs or you relocate or you start a new project or choosing which business focus will be your main focus. Okay. So yes, um, it's an instinct and it's a muscle, a capacity, or a skill and trait that everyone has that they apply on a daily basis, however, to different extents and with different consciousness. So how can you apply this in your life or how can you bring this information as something practical and relevant for you? Well, becoming more aware of our intuition can help us make more empowered decisions and choices that are more aligned with your soul's path of evolution for greatest joy and happiness. Because our intuition is coming from the inner being, from your heart, from your core, from your essence, from your essential self. So it stands to, to reason that if we follow that guidance and that voice, we can make better choices that will generate the greatest happiness and well-being for ourselves and for everyone concerned. So use your intuition. Perhaps if you're not as aware of it, bring it into your daily life by asking yourself, what am I feeling about this? Or what is my sense about making this choice or going this way? Because it can also make a big difference in how much fun you're having, whether you're just operating on automatic and doing things because of the same routine. And sometimes we even doubt ourselves in doing something different because it's not part of the routine or the same structure. However, doing something different may be part of a happier path. So that's my invitation for all of us is to harness your intuition, the power that you have within you to make choices that are based on a sixth sense on your own psychic power, your own capacity to know what's the best course of action without knowing why. And one caveat or thing to, to be aware of is that intuition is not jumping to conclusions or making assumptions on other people or projecting your thoughts on other people. Rather, be mindful of, of how you wish to be intuitive, however, you're not presupposing things or making assumptions. And you can do that by opening your intention, by saying, I intend to use my intuition or to be intuitive without making assumptions on others or projecting onto others or thinking X, Y, or Z without having evidence. Use it in baby steps. Start small in your daily life. Like, what do I feel is the best road to take to go to class or to go to work? Or what do I feel is the best food selection to make that would give me the greatest energy that would leave me feeling the very best? And your intuition will guide you towards that. Now, these are just scratching the surface um, concepts and it's an overview. However, my intention is for you to bring it into your life if you're open and receptive because it can really enhance your feelings of connection with the world around you, with your own soul, with your own heart and spirit because your intuition is a divine gift that comes from your spirit, from your God. So use it because it's a beautiful skill, it's a beautiful quality and it keeps us connected to our soul 
and you can cultivate it further by practicing it, being aware and intending for it, and also by meditating, by quieting your mind and reducing the stress in your life by bringing some quiet and calm within so that you can be more tuned in to the messages from your source. So that's it for now. I'll see you next time. And I am wishing you loads of fun on your journey of intuitive development. Bye.